and uh, because the household debt has been uh, rising at over 20 percent uh, per annum, and it's already over 100 percent of disposable income. So it could double in three years, and uh, you, you, you could see uh, the, the, the blows up. So in, th in three years' time, so the government is trying to is looking around for where the financial crisis might happen, and they're trying to do something about it. I mean, you could say to uh, try and whack a mole, but Andy, so we have on the one side these grey rhinos you're talking about who've financed expansion through credit. Then that's shifted to these Chinese developers now, is what you're saying. Now, you've called these grey rhinos Ponzi schemes. Surely these developers are not. Well, I think the uh, China's uh, property market as a whole is a Ponzi scheme. There's no shortage. You know? China is such a large country, and uh, the, uh, the, there's no shortage of land, no shortage of property, and uh, infra infrastructure overbuilt. So when the valuation of property is like uh, higher than in Japan in 1989, that has to be a Ponzi scheme. You know, this Ponzi scheme is based on the expectation that currency value will depreciate because they're there. you can, cannot take the money out and if you're still printing money a lot and the, there would be inflation, the money would be inflated away. So this, this fear factor is driving a speculation in the property market. And the, the government, the government thinks that now it's getting, uh, it's going so crazy that uh, that it might blow up. So it's trying to cool things down a bit. But what, what the government is doing is still managing the bubble, not really bursting the bubble. They try, they do want to slow down the market. They are not addressing the fundamental issue in the speculation that is over expansion of uh, of money supply.